Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad again with another garage door opener video. You may have seen my previous garage door opener video showing how LED bulbs cause interference with your remotes and cause them not to work. So whenever you leave your house and try to close your garage, your garage door remotes do not work because the lights are illuminated on the motor up here. Uh, I have since then found a solution and they are these Genie LED bulbs. Genie recognized the issue and created a bulb to put out a different frequency than most garage door openers. I say most because I'm testing this with a Chamberlain LiftMaster. I'm sure that they work with all the Genie openers, but not all openers work off the same frequency. So you will have to test it with yours. Uh, you can pick up these bulbs at most home improvement stores. I know Lowe's, Home Depot. I've seen them at Ace Hardware. Um, I'm sure there are plenty others that have them, but those are just my local stores that I've checked for them. So check out these bulbs. I'm going to show you today that I'm going to replace not only the bulbs. And here I have one, two here. I also have two on the ceiling. And I have two outside. The reason why I'm replacing all six of these bulbs is because I know that one of my viewers had an issue whenever he hung his Christmas lights this year. He hung LED Christmas lights and the Christmas lights interfered with his garage door opener. So he posted that comment on my video. Uh, I definitely appreciate the feedback because that's not something most people think about. So always keep in mind when you're replacing bulbs in or near your garage that they need to be either the old style bulbs or the LED bulbs that do not emit the same frequency as your opener. So the first thing I'm gonna do today is replace these bulbs. You can see one of these is already out, so I'm gonna install the new bulbs up here. These bulbs are shatter resistant, so if you accidentally drop them, they shouldn't shatter into a a million pieces like a lot of the old style bulbs do. Um, I'm gonna put this old one in my pocket here. It's nice and warm on this cold day, but uh, they're shatter resistant and moisture resistant. So they are rated to be used outdoors with no problems, which is nice since you're putting them in a garage and most garages are not climate controlled. Go ahead and get this other side of the off here. So much harder to do this when it's cold outside because the plastic is not as pliable. So be very careful if you're doing it when it's very cold. Um, moving plastic around outside, it will have a tendency to crack. So we're gonna get both of these screwed in. And you see that one illuminates immediately. And the first thing I'm gonna do is test my garage door opener. So we're gonna go straight from here after installing those bulbs. I have not tested these yet. This will be the first time. I'm going to punch in the code on my garage door opener here and see if it works. No, I'm not letting you see my garage door opener code. And you see that it does work. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. So right off the bat, we know that the new bulbs worked. I'm going to do my code again to open the door. We know the light bulbs were illuminated and the garage door has worked going both up and down. So it looks like we have a great solution. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the other bulbs though and make sure with all six of them, we don't have any issues. All right, so on to my outdoor bulbs. We know that these bulbs are going to come in contact with moisture and cold and heat. I'm in Georgia, so we have somewhat of a moderate climate here. But I know these bulbs are said to be rated to, I think it's negative 30 degrees, uh, which is intense. If you live in Antarctica, maybe, you may have an issue with these bulbs. But other than that, I think you're good. And uh, they're also moisture resistant. So being outside, moisture resistance is a big deal. Go ahead and get this one out. This one's been in here a long time. You can see it's a clear bulb, and I've never even purchased clear bulbs before. And we're gonna get our new LED in here. So we got those done, and the last thing we're gonna do is come inside and replace these two on the ceiling. Uh, one note I do want to make sure I talk about is the fact that Jeannie did send me these six bulbs at no cost to myself, but 
did not pay me to do any kind of product endorsement. She just said that I could make a video showing how their product worked, which benefits me, benefits my viewers, and benefits them. But this is not a paid endorsement. I did assure her that I would give an honest analysis of the bulbs. I would not sugarcoat anything as with all of my other videos. I do not do paid product placements because I want you to have honest feedback. I know we have so much commercialization out there. I always want to give you the honest answer. All right, I have all six lights on now. Just to show you, they're all illuminated. And I'm actually going to use my truck garage door opener now to make sure that it works with this remote as well. And it closes with all six lights illuminated. So it stops our problem that I was having before. And then I'm going to push it once and it opens right back up. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, it's a great tip for homeowners. Share this on your Facebook for your neighbors. Uh, this is an annoying problem that most people just deal with. Uh, once it happens, they'll call out a repairman. The repairman um, hopefully is honest and tells them the solution, but they may come in and try to replace this whole box for them, uh, which can be very costly to have someone else do it. I think the box themselves for this size are a few hundred dollars plus installation uh, cost for the person doing it. Make sure you share this with your friends. Uh, subscribe to my channel uh, for other home repairs like this and others. Uh, if you want to see my original video, I will have it linked on the screen at the end of the video and I'll have a few other ones linked. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I hope you guys have a great day.